Culture is not static. You know, there is always um, influences. Uh, for example, uh, we um, in '99 we have uh, hundreds of international troops in Timor Leste. They're coming from Africa, Latin America, everywhere. So then you've got this exposure of different cultures. Sometimes within the one department, you've got um, somebody from Africa telling you, yeah, this is the way you do it. Then you've got an American telling you, no, no, this is the way you do it. So you get this confusion state um, in terms of addressing the issues. And this is where you said, you know, lost in translation. Mm. That's exactly what happened. You've got all these aid agencies, they all came in. Many, not all, but many will have come with the idea of one size fit all, uh, regardless of the local culture, um, local leadership, the way people do things on the ground. Uh, often you just come in and you just, yep, this is how you do it. Then, a few years later, you said, how? Oh, it didn't work. Then you know why it didn't work. Yeah. Now, uh, I, I want to also say, in terms of development, Australians are really generous. You are very generous people. You've helped people all over the world. And us, in Timor Leste, we benefit from your solidarity and your friendship. What we are saying here is some lessons learned to make sure that your dollar, the money that you give, goes further mm -hmm. and really benefit where it is targeted. Now, often the communication issue so you come in and do something, and then you leave and you go. The locals are not involved, completely. And then because they said, well, that's Malay. That means a foreigner who did it, that's theirs, not ours. But if you get them to do it, they sweat on it, they said, well, this is ours. You know? <laughs> who is going to mark it up? You know? And if someone come trying to uh, undermine it, if there was a water pipe, for example, if someone coming to you know, break it, and if people in the village who did it, who did the digging and who did all the work, and that's theirs, and you think they would allow anyone to break it? Or if there is in disrepair, they need to repair it because it's theirs. But if somebody else come in, do it and then take off, they say, well, it's not ours. So they take no responsibility for it.